What's going on guys? Well today I'm going to do a review on this CRKT Civet. Very uh, cool little neck knife. This was sent to me by a viewer. So first off, thank you very much to the person who uh, sent this so I could try it out. Uh, because it was uh, sent, uh, there's two things that were not included which I wanted to mention just because it is a review. Uh, number one is for the uh, belt, you know, carry. Obviously this is a, a neck knife, right? But it does come with a clip which is attached through this hole right here, which allows us to be, you know, belt mounted. Okay, so if you are interested in this knife, but you're not into neck knives, you want to carry it on the belt, you know, or something similar, you can certainly do so. I just don't have that to show. Uh, in addition to that, also, apparently this thing comes with a ball and chain lanyard, a much smaller ball and chain, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen that for a, a neck knife, but that's kind of cool, something different. Obviously, if you don't like, you can take it off. Um, but yeah, just want to mention those two things real quick because I don't have those to actually show here, but they do, you know, come with this knife. This knife comes in uh, two different uh, patterns. This one here is the uh, Bowie style, and it also comes in a drop point. Now, what I found to be extremely interesting, and I really don't know why, but the um, Bowie style is more expensive. These sell for thirty bucks, pretty much across the board. I mean, anywhere from like twenty-seven to thirty, let's just say. However, the drop point I've seen as cheap as 15 to 20. So let's say about 18 bucks is kind of average. So, you know, that's a big difference. It's a you know $10 plus difference. And I don't know why. They have the same steels of the same size, same manufacturing. Uh, so if you happen to know why, you can educate me and let me know down in the comment section why is this one more expensive than the drop point? It might be something as simple as just production numbers. I really don't know for sure. But anyway, um, yeah, very interesting little uh, knife here. Our blade is 2.4 inches. It's an 8 CR13. These are made in China, so there's no surprise there. So anyway, some, uh, <laughs> some specs on this. 2.4 inches on our blade. It is hollow ground, as you can see here, the satin finish. Um, our handle here is 2.5 inches and together it is 5 inches overall. Uh, this is a kind of over mold. It's not removable as you can see here. There's no hardware or anything. It is full tang, but we do have this uh, GRN scales. Glass reinforced nylon, so it's just like a synthetic. Uh, it's actually very comfortable in the hand. Great ergonomics on this. Only 1.8 ounces. This thing is nothing. It weighs nothing uh, because I do so many different neck knives. They do vary quite a bit in their their weight, but this one just, it stands out as being extra light, okay? So it literally, it weighs practically nothing. So what's pretty interesting about this knife is this is called the Civet, and uh, I did not know this until I Googled it. Thank you, Google, for teaching me lots of things. Um, but uh, yeah, I was just curious what that meant, if it, if it had any kind of meaning, and it does. It absolutely does. A Civet is a predatorial cat in Africa and Asia which again, had no idea this thing was even around. Never saw this animal in my life. Um, but it's pretty fascinating. It's kind of, if you've never seen it before, obviously you can Google it. But um, it looks kind of like a cross between like a leopard and a ferret. Has a beautiful uh, coloration, you know, on its uh, fur. And uh, when I was uh, researching this knife, I found out that Flavio Coma wanted to kind of mimic that with these handle scales. So there's a lot of inspiration there from the actual you know, fur pattern on the cat. So pretty interesting. Uh, this does offer some grip. It's a very smooth uh, plastic. Like it's not, it's not textured like a G10 or anything. It just happens to be heavily grooved. You can see they're pretty deep grooves in there, this pattern here. Uh, when holding the knife, you can see there's a nice finger troll here. So it locks in pretty well. You can feel this grip pattern down here, you know, in the fingers and stuff. It's nice, but it, I mean, that's the best way I can explain it is it's very smooth, but deep. So it's, it's not super aggressive. It just happens to just be there. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's not just a random pattern. It is these little kind of squared off patches here. Again, if you look up uh, on Google Images or something, a picture of a civet, you'll kind of understand that a little more. That's just fascinating. Now that I've learned that, every time I you know, grab the knife and look at it, I think about this, this animal, which I never even knew was a thing. So yes, it's definitely a thing. Uh, it's amazing how many animals are out there on the earth that we really don't know anything about. <laughs> Unless I guess you're an animal expert. But I am certainly not. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, ergonomically, it's very nice. You can see there's two points of uh, jimping on here, right down here, which you're going to use most of the time. Because it is a smaller knife, you can choke up. 
and naturally, you know, with I have larger hands, um, you know, your thumb does rest here very nicely. Also, you can use pointer finger if you want a little more control. You know, so that's really nice. I like that. The jimping is very, very functional. It's a very fine cut jimping, so it really just locks in and grabs the, the skin. So I like that a lot. Obviously, you can see there is a lanyard hole on here. Um, reverse grip, not a whole lot of knife there. If you had a lanyard on here, it'd be much better. I kind of feel like I'm, I'm left out a little in the reverse grip. Again, I'm not doing a lot of stabbing with uh, neck knives, and by not a lot, I mean zero. I don't think I've ever stabbed anything with a neck knife, except for the uh, cold steel spike, because it's a much larger knife. But uh, yeah, you definitely want a lantern on here for reverse grip, but so many people, I don't see why you'd need that really, or the need to stab anything with such a small knife. But if you do, definitely want a lanyard. Uh, as far as just a regular grip, it's enough knife to not have a lanyard, and I actually carried it with that one. If I continue to carry this, I would definitely put something on here, again, just to give me a full four finger grip here, because you can see the pinky is just lonely out here. It is a three finger grip all day long, but it's enough, again, with the jimping and the little bit of uh, you know texturing on here, or design, I should say, not texturing, but you know just how the handle design is. I didn't feel like I was lacking grip. But with uh, lots more use and, like I said, a longer duration of carry, because I only carry this on and off for about maybe four weeks or so. But if this was like my go-to neck knife I carried every day for years on end, you would certainly see a lanyard on there. So here's another uh, close-up of the whole thing. You can see how the, by design, the scales are a little bit shorter than the frame. Visually, I don't like that. I want to see these scales completely cover the frame. That's just personal preference. It doesn't do anything in a positive or as far as ergonomics, you know, and holding a knife, I don't feel that at all. It's just visually, I think I'd prefer these scales to come all the way to the end. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a very, very cool little knife. All right, so let's talk about the sheath a little bit here because there is a very, very cool surprise with the sheath, which I didn't know for the first, like, two weeks until I accidentally discovered it. But uh, first, let's talk about this, uh, this necklace. Now, it comes with a ball and chain necklace, okay? As I said before, it does come with a smaller version of that for a lanyard, which is kind of unique and interesting. Now, when I got the knife, this was on here. I've never seen this before in my life. It's a cool idea. Um, it's just a little plastic piece that obviously slips through, and this is supposed to sit on the back of your neck. Now, the idea is that when you tug on the knife to pull it out, you're not getting this just plain ball and chain on your neck, and it's supposed to be uncomfortable. Um, I've carried so many different neck knives, both with uh, paracord as well as this style of of necklace and it's never been a problem. It, it's never ever been a problem. Uh, particularly with this knife, it's very easy to get in and out. Okay, you see the knife does kind of snap in, okay? It's not going anywhere, but it's not a difficult draw. So like I understand if it was really hard to pull out, I'm like tugging on this, that would be cool addition, you know, for comfort. It makes no difference whatsoever. So for the review, I kept it on. I mean, I used the thing, but I really could not tell much of a difference. Uh, as far as comfort, so take it or leave it. In fact, I saw a video with Flavio talking about the uh, the civet, and in that video, this piece was like down here, so it wasn't even on the back of his neck. So I don't know if that was um, you know his idea or not, but take it or leave it doesn't matter. Uh, it's kind of cool. It's a cool idea. It's just I didn't really feel a big difference there. If um, you know future designs, different companies it doesn't have to be CRKT, but. Um, it'd be interesting to see a different version of that, some sort of a comfortable piece, um, maybe a softer material of some kind, some kind of, uh, I don't know, nylon or something, nylon strap that literally would go on here. Even if they sold it, if some company just made something that would go onto the necklace for neck knives for that, for comfort, that'd be pretty cool, be interesting. I'm so used to it, it's not uncomfortable to me, but if you've never carried a neck knife before, or necklace, let's just say you, you've never carried anything around your neck. Um, all of a sudden you have a neck knife hanging, this might be irritating to you. Again, it's just because you're not used to it. Uh, but this, like I said, it didn't really make a difference, nor here or there. But now I want to take off this uh, necklace because I'm gonna show you what I discovered on accident. Let's pull the wrong side off. Okay, there we go. This thing staying off. There we go. All right. <laughs> so I discovered this on accident and then later uh, realized that everyone knows this. So it's not like, uh, you know, super secret or anything. 
But first off, as you can see here, there is a lanyard, or excuse me, a drainage hole at the very tip of the knife, which is cool. In case it gets wet or something, it can obviously air dry in there, which is nice. But remove the knife, flip it over. You can see there is a little cutout right there. Put your nail in there, grip the sides here, and push forward. You can see this comes apart. Holy moly. Why haven't people done this before? What a great concept. Uh, very simple, so you can open it up and you can clean it. Make sure it's nice and clean in there. Um, someone even mentioned that you can throw a little bit of oil in there to so make sure your, your blade stays protected. So here's a close-up of the uh, inside. Now, as you can see, there's a heavy you know, grooving or jimping on both sides of the sheath. That is, again, so that when you are taking this apart, you have something to grab. And as you push this back, you can feel this click into place okay so it's not going to be it's not going to be loose it's not going to fall apart on you and plus once your your necklace is through these holes it's going through both sides of the sheet too so it's not coming apart while you're using the knife okay um but yeah super super interesting absolutely love the design just i don't know it's just so simple you know i think what it is is that there's so many um you know knife sheaths that are molded kydex and they're like fold over designs and stuff so a lot of them are one piece already so the idea of having them you know come apart is not an option there but there are a lot of you know molded sheaths that are two pieces and obviously they're riveted together so in that particular case you can obviously come up with a design that's similar to this where you have just a track system you know and this just uh pops apart i just love it it's cool it's very very cool and you can see this little bump here corresponds with that groove there. That's what's keeping it in place. Okay, so a little hole there, a little bump there, right? And they line up and snap into place. Okay, very, very cool. So the fact that you can take this apart, the fact that I learned all about this new cat that I didn't know existed, I like the knife. <laughs> but besides all the trivial stuff, uh, it is a good little usable work knife. Uh, now, talking about the uh, the price, again, you know, an 8CR13, yeah, you know, it's kind of whatever. Um, but I like the design. Uh, the drop point version at like $15 to $20 all day long. Big thumbs up. When you're talking $30 now, eh, an extra 10 bucks, it's kind of iffy on it. I mean, there's a lot of other cool options too. A lot of people directly compare this to the minimalist. Uh, obviously, very similar size knives, uh, you know, clearly both CRKTs. In the same price range you know it's kind of a preference there uh, you could pick one or the other whatever you like the looks of more they're both very usable knives the um minimalist is way more comfortable than this but uh this is offering some stuff that the minimalist is not it's just kind of cool it's different i like i like things because they're unique and this is definitely unique not just the sheet system but just the uh the knife itself um, so I like it. I'll definitely give it a thumbs up, but I will say this as far as value You're really getting your value with the drop point version uh, The buoy version being more expensive. It's just I don't know why you guys can, can clue me in because I'm, I'm totally clueless on that I have no idea why it is like 10 to 12 dollars more or up to 10 to 15 dollars more Exact same knife different different style different blade shape. That's it So you guys let me know but uh yeah, that's pretty much it. That's my review on the uh, CRKT Civet. Pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. So let me know what you think down below. And once again, thank you to the viewer who sent this to me. I would not have uh, been able to check it out otherwise. I knew it was out there, but it wasn't on my radar. And now I'm glad I was able to use it. Cool little knife. So I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful day. And I'm looking forward to the comments. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.